Okay, here we go. This is the street I, I live on. And there's the apartment I live in right there. The woman, she owns that whole building there. And I think there's three apartments. Hers on the end and her son stays in the middle one and she rents this one out. And to walk down to the street, it's just a block down to the down to the beach there. And this uh, the nuns live here. Actually, the nuns used to own this building, but they bought that one across the road and sold this one to her. She's from Toronto. And she put this mirror here so from the front window you can look out and see the water. <laughs> so we'll go inside and have a look around here. You see, it, she made, it was a carport. She made it into a little studio apartment here. You see, and there's a big lock. When you get in, you just slide that lock. And there's another door going into the other apartment and uh, there's a lock here, you lock it from the inside. And there's a bar across so you can hang up some clothes there, some shirts and whatnot, which is kind of cool. There's my ukulele. I don't play it out in public, not yet anyway. Oh yeah, and you can see down there, you can see the beach if you look at the mirror. There's a shelf up there, you can put some suitcases and some utilities and a little table, a couple chairs. And that's a bed Chesterfield actually, you know, in case you had company staying over. And that's a double bed or queen size bed, I guess, I don't know. And there's the AC up there. So I usually put it on for an hour, then turn it off for an hour. In the dresser, and that's where I put my uh, uh, pack sacks. I don't put them up on the shelf. It's got a cute little fridge and a cute little stove. And right now I'm making some stir fry. I'm gonna add some chicken. Look at this, uh, <laughs> look at this uh, kettle. Pretty simple, it works. You just plug it in and toast it. Oh yeah, gonna add some chicken to that there, and yeah, perfect. Yeah. Oh, and there's the water jug. I just bought a new water jug yesterday. It cost 20 pesos. Put cupboards and drawers all over the place. More than you need, actually. <laughs> and there's more cupboards here. I guess if you're gonna stay for a long time, you'll bring a bunch of stuff. Yep. I got a few electronical things hanging out there. My shaving kit. Yeah. So it's, uh, it's quite comfortable, you know. I'm just by myself right now, but uh, you know, for two people, Two people and a guest, actually, you won't get in each other's way too much. And uh, so I, I told her there wasn't much light in the kitchen, eh? so she uh, got me a lamp. But she's going to get an electrician to go up here and tomorrow he's going to wire in a light here with a switch. So that'll be okay. And it's a pretty nice bathroom too, you know, it's, uh, it's got everything you need. Real nice shower. Yeah. I washed out my shirt and I got it hanging out there drying. Don't need to iron it. There's actually a cupboard behind the drawer there. I don't know. Somebody left a blow dryer there. I don't know if she left it there or was it just somebody else left it there. But uh, yeah, I've been here 10 days now or something like that. It's all good. Yeah, so I, I've tried it a couple different spots on the AC, but what I do is I just uh, turn it on for an hour and off for an hour. Well, sometimes at night, you know, I need to put it on because it gets stuffy and then other times I uh, turn it off because it gets too cold. <laughs> Yeah, so it's 
So good. when I go out, I actually open the front window and air the place out so it's got fresh air in here when I'm gone. There's no TV in here, but I can get everything I want to watch on my iPad. It's got really good Wi-Fi. Oh yeah, I'm learning a few strummings and maybe another tune. Well, there you have it. I don't know. What, what else can you expect for 35 bucks a day? Yeah, it's pretty cool. That's where the nuns come out.